All right, so, uh, you know, the philosophy behind the action plan is quite simple. I mean, it, it, it's bring, bringing local and regional stakeholders together where there's desire and an energy to make some form of change. And I, I guess the one thing I didn't talk about uh, or mention about the Water Sustainability Committee and really why the Water Sustainability Committee probably is a good fit for driving this forward. I mean, the Water Sustainability Committee uh, is a really diverse group. I mean, their focus is collaboration, partnerships, and alignment. Uh, we've got federal government uh, participation, provincial government presentation, lots of local government participation. We have private industry. We have academia. Uh, you know, so it's it, it's really a good holistic approach. Um, but as we move forward with the action plan, it's analogous to that. It, it's making sure that we brought the stakeholders together um, and providing them, uh, and it's particularly providing the people on the ground in that particular community or region the tools and resources that they need to help support action at the local level. So, uh, the regional team approach is, is a term that's been coined as we move forward. Um, now, Eric Bonham is a long-term public servant uh, who's now retired. Uh, now he's only working uh, 70 hours a week in his retirement. Uh, a mentor of mine, if you've been coming to UBCMs for a number of years, uh, he would be in the past uh, doing the same role I have uh, uh, doing now. Uh, but, you know, he's, he's heavily involved with the action plan. And one of the things that he really understands is that you know a top-down approach doesn't work? Uh, really, it's all about a bottom-up. Um, and and you know, you know, I guess our approach has been, uh, the regional team approach has been, is when you know a community showed interest or desire to move something forward. That's when we've sort of mobilized, uh, and the action plan uh, and its purpose is to engage, listen, understand, and support you know the local interests in moving forward. And that's where we've really, uh, I think, been successful. Uh, you know, so here are some examples uh, of where we've sort of uh, been working on the ground. Uh, 2008, we've had Vancouver Island Learning Lunch Series, which has just been a two-hour series over lunch. Uh, we've got local people, local stakeholders coming together and, and talking about an issue facilitated discussions, uh, really uh, great communication opportunities and, and capacity building. Um, you know, there's a list of a number of them. I mean, the one thing, the, the one area that uh, I've certainly been involved in, and I'm not sure if anyone's here from the Comox Valley, but uh, there's been a lot of active uh, participation in the Comox Valley and, and really seen some benefits, uh, you know, really through developing some of the partnerships and collaborations that have occurred through Comox Valley, the member municipalities. I mean, what we're seeing right now is, you know, planners and engineers are coming together. They've actually developed a framework called CV Ops, uh, so the operations sort of network uh, within the uh, regional district coming together to make sure they're having communications and, and understanding whether that's uh, subdivision servicing standard bylaws and, and understanding how one community impacts the other, land use plan decisions, all that sort of thing. So, uh, you know, really seeing some of the work that's being done at a local level uh, really paying dividends in the long term. Uh, 